This week, commemoration events are being held in Lyons, Longmont and Boulder, marking 10 years since the devastating flooding in Colorado. Some consider it to be one of the worst natural disasters in Colorado history. And tonight we're taking you to Jamestown, one of the hardest hit communities. And Denver 7's Colette Bordelon spoke with the people who lived through it and explains how their resilience paved the road to recovery. Everyone knows everyone in Jamestown. It's the only spot up here, so it's as popular as it could be. <laughs> and even when the Merc is closed, the door is always open. Rainbow Schultz can be found stocking the restaurant. There's a lot of beautiful places all over the world, but what makes Jamestown, Jamestown is the community of the people here. The gratitude for this community and complete strangers is what the last decade has been about. Feels kind of like yesterday and kind of like it never happened at all. Yeah, I guess it's 10 years. Since water devastated the town. Two weeks before the flood, I looked at this town and I said, everything's perfect. I mean, one day it all got wiped out. Louis Maurer, who lives right upstairs, knows how much it means to stand in the doorway of the Merck. It's just a very special building that survived a lot. But buildings can be replaced. People cannot. Joey was one of them. So, biggest loss. Biggest loss to this town was Joey. This is Joey with Dreadlock George, even though George's dreadlocks have since been cut off. In a way, he's still with us. We feel him from time to time. Schultz bought the restaurant from Joey Howlett two years before the flood. He was in his bed reading a book, listening to the baseball game on the radio, which honestly, he had even told me that's the way, if he had to go, that's the way he wanted to go. Everyone thought his beloved cat, Shadow, died too. She was gone for 40 days. But the cat was found and taken in by Maurer. This is, as I consider, the most famous cat in Colorado, right here. Shadow passed four years after the flood. I took her ashes and I put them in with Joey's ashes. The cat's story, a sign miracles can happen. We're all really lucky and grateful that we're still here. In a community where the sun did shine after the rain. Colette Bordelon, Denver 7. And of course, it wasn't just Jamestown experiencing devastating flooding 10 years ago today. In fact, here's a look at the streets of Boulder. This was September 12th, 2013. The water was so high you couldn't even see the roads in some parts of town. Aurora also was experiencing some heavy flooding on this date. Several people were even forced to abandon their cars in the streets because of the high water. Mm, well, wow. we've brought you the stories over the past week. We've been looking back at this flooding. And if you want to see those stories, watch them again, watch more of them. They're all on our website, denver7.com.